Hey everyone. I have to say this is the best forum ever. So proud of the community. We've just grown and uh, we just get, keep getting better, better and better. Uh, but thank you for joining us. We're here now on the ROI of renovation relationships. Super hot topic. My name is Chris Van. I'm the head of marketing here at Side, and I am joined by an incredible team of experts here who are just so experienced on this topic. Uh, first, I want to introduce George Hanold, CEO and founder of Times Real Estate down in Newport Beach, Orange County. This guy is super experienced uh, working with his dad and his sister, right, George? Tell us about your business. That's right. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm fired up to be here. Uh, yeah, I've been working as a family owned and operated independent brokerage out of Newport Beach since about 2003. My sister is my partner. Um, my dad has had us working hard for quite some time. We, we got Reagan back here to come boss her little brother around from working on Wall Street in New York. Uh, she got sick of walking, uh, taking the subways. But uh, yeah, 18 years and, and, and ramping up, building the momentum, keeping it going. Awesome. Great to have you. Thank you for joining. Joining us is Lynn Lynn Sal Otani as well. She is the senior listing specialist partner at Real Estate Experts in Campbell, California, Silicon Valley, super hot market. Yeah. And Lynn Lynn has an interesting background having been at Redfin. Tell us about it yourself, Lynn Lynn. Yeah. So I came through real estate through a non traditional way. I came first of all as a buyer specialist, salary buyer specialist with De Leon Realty. It's a high-end brokerage firm in the platinum core of Palo Alto, Menlo Park, uh, Atherton, uh, Los Altos. And then uh, I wanted to, you know, uh, go in the listing uh, side because I thought, you know, I, I like to project manage and I did a lot of, uh, you know, community work prior and um, I came in uh, lower Silicon Valley specialist to help open up uh, the lower the South Bay area as a Redfin salaried listing specialist and uh, did a lot of volume that way. And then that's how I came into the real estate experts. I uh, wanted to, you know, basically take it to the next level with listings and I'm so happy that I did. So I am helping Brett and um, the team with our listings there. Awesome. Great team there. And uh, tons of you guys have tons of experience on the renovation front. And speaking of a ton of experience, Michael Aladawi, the president, CEO, and founder of Revive, which as many of you know, Revive is super uh, focused and, and committed to providing innovation and concierge services for agents, um, which everyone's very interested in. And Michael, please tell us, I know you're super passionate about this topic. Also, you're a Bravo TV star. I want to hear about this. <laughs> Well, thank you, Chris. I, I appreciate it and really happy to be here. Um, you know, the bulk of my real estate experience really was attained after the 2008 crash. Uh, I was managing a fund for a private uh, family office in which uh, that fund was focused on uh, purchasing or shifting all of their capital into real estate. And so um, as I was running that funds, we, you know, or that fund, um, we were flipping, we we're purchasing a lot of auction property and, and we were flipping it. So in a course of two to three years, we, we, we purchased and flipped about 300 properties. I later uh, repositioned that fund to be a, a, a hard money fund, helping other flippers of real estate. And then later uh, repositioned that fund to be a ground up construction fund. And so I kind of uh, have the, you know, the opportunity to have worn multiple hats, whether it's on the buyer side of investor property or reselling them or lending to those people doing that job or ground up construction. Um, so that's a little bit of my background and how I got into real estate. Ton of tons of experience and a serial entrepreneur, right? And now, um, now with Revive successfully growing. So we'll hear more about the programs. Um, ben Huang, 
Uh, woo Woo Insider, uh, he is on the side team. He's, he leads product management, uh, particularly for this concierge product and, and um, other top initiatives. Um, ben actually comes from uh, the tech space. He was a Y Combinator grad and had his own company and sold it. Um, so we're lucky to have you, Ben. Tell, tell us a little bit about your background. You've, you've worked in, in real estate tech now for a while. Yeah, so I have the least amount of experience in this entire room. Uh, I've only really been in real estate for about a year. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, I was a lead product manager at Compass and really working very closely with the innovation team and prioritize and help launch the their concierge program uh, in early 2019 and really saw the crazy growth of that. Um, and that gave me two conclusions. Uh, one is... Uh, Asian team is for sure uh, the future. Uh, top agents will overwhelmingly dominate the market and the expectations for agents will be higher than ever and they will be, uh, customer will demand these specialized instruments like concierge loans. And all that conclusion led to, hey, side is the future of real estate and hence I'm here. Cool, thanks Ben. So let's dig in. So first question for you guys really is around the marketplace. I want to hear what you're seeing, the trends you're seeing. You know, why all of a sudden is renovation just so important now? Um, Michael, let's let's start with you. I want to hear what you are seeing across the nation. Sure. Um, well, I think the real estate industry in general has been over the you know the last you know you know two to ten years has been experiencing an explosion, a growth spurt in both ev you know evolution and innovation. And I think if you really think about it, five years uh, to 10 years ago, so many changes were happening in the industry that were kind of marginalizing or minimizing the value of a realtor because you had all these different uh, solutions out there um, really aimed at you know, uh, bringing that to the end consumer. And, and now if you really look at five years moving forward, there are so many companies innovating solutions um, to bring to, to consumers that really add to the value of a realtor, right? Because today with all of the solutions out there, you really need a professional guide to help um, clients and consumers navigate those uh, different solutions out there. Because I, I think Ben the other day was, was talking about how, you know, these are not plug and play solutions all the time. Um, and that they require a certain level of sophistication. So in general, I think the value of a realtor is increasing. I also think that the buyer, the buyers out there today are also evolving. We're seeing that the millennials make up the largest portion of a buyer pool today. Um, also like to call them the HGTV generation <laughs> is buying today. And these folks, you know, they, they have high expectations. They want turnkey. Um, they, they appreciate good design. They, they want to entertain. And so, um, you know, renovating homes or prepping homes to be turnkey, trendy for that buyer market, of course, is always a, a big thing to maximizing the sales price of a property. Yeah. George, are you seeing that too, uh, where you are with your clients, that whole HGTV factor come into play? Oh, absolutely. They want what they want and they want it now. The millennials may be hard workers, in their job life, but when it comes to real estate, they're uh, renovation lazy. Um, I don't give, I happen to be a millennial. I found this out recently, kind of bummed me out. I, really <laughs> income, like, the last year. Yeah, I hung out with the older crowd. Um, so there is tremendous family support, especially locally here. You're seeing hundreds of thousands of dollars being granted <laughs> to these millennials to get into the properties with family help. Um, and in fact, they are paying premiums for this product type. Uh, the, the toughest product to sell right now is something that I've coined the phrase tweeners. Uh, they're, they're not quite a fixer and they're not completely done. They may have some wonderful remodels, but they're, they're caught somewhere in between. And those are the ones that we're seeing people really take haircuts on the prices that they're commanding on those properties. Uh, these people want it done. And uh, I don't give this generation too much credit for vision, although they see it on TV. Um, we need to show it to them. You need some eye candy. Um, and, and when they're in it, then they see it, then they want it. 
and then they have to have it. Yeah. So they, they need a, a top agent to help them get there. So, so Lynn, Lynn, what about you? You're, you're seeing that. I mean, you're in the middle, you're in the echo, whatever, the epicenter of, of uh, millennial life in Silicon Valley. Are you seeing it? We are absolutely seeing it. So one of the things is the millennials or the buyer pool, they're spending more time in front of a computer than they do with a hammer and nail. And if you're giving them an inspection report that has all of these items called out, they have like no idea, like, you know, if this is a couple hundred dollar fix, a couple thousand dollar fix, neither do they have that interest to really, you know, choose the paint colors and do this or that. And so when you are presenting them, as these two gentlemen stated, you know, a turnkey home, they have the funds to pay for that, especially they have the bank of mommy and daddy. Um, and sorry to say, but a lot of times they're overseas and that's why we market through Proxio um, overseas. But when all of these financial statements are coming in and they are like, oh my goodness, we love this house, you know, mom and dad, you know, and then I, I see these gift funds come in. So they can, uh, they can pay, um, you know, two to three X that ROI that you are putting in uh, to, to spruce up the home. <laughs> just because yeah. they have that yeah yeah so it's worth the upside to to invest mm -hmm. george is that what you're 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 saying that too? At, least, at least the two to three x roi just on an example we opened escrow on this morning uh we're seeing a four x plus roi on a renovation that we provided for wow. a homeowner right here in beach Incredible. I mean, that's real wealth building for, you know, sellers. It's fantastic. So you're really impacting people's lives. Um, ben, you know, Chris, uh, I, oh, sorry. Go I was just going to say, I think um, people just can't imagine it. You can't just, I know a lot of times um, sellers are, will say stuff like, well, we'll just give them a credit. No, that doesn't work because people can't see it, you know. No. Um, they, they think they can or if you're ever going to show a home, you know, a realtor, you know, somebody might say, well, don't mind the mess. Oh, I could see past that or whatever. It's like, no, they can't. They can't see past it, you know. No, they need so. to walk in it and feel it. They need to feel it, you know. Um, and now, especially with COVID, you know, it's like that much more important. Home is that much more important, they, you know, the experience. Yeah. So let's, let's get into the renovation relationships you guys have. You guys are super smart at building these relationships and um, – and Ben, talk to us about actually how you decided and, and the team at SIDE decided to, to partner with Revive um, and how that program's going. Yeah, so just a quick history on kind of home renovation and the concierge um, kind of revolution, I guess, or evolution in, 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 the, in this industry, right? Like. <clears throat> Before Compass Concierge, uh, people were lent, most agents I know, top agents were lending off their own balance sheet to finance and to finance uh, renovations, and these are risks that they're taking in house, right? And then Compass came out with Home Concierge uh, loan just 2019, right? And within the span of a year and a half, we see companies like Revive and and a lot more coming through. So one thing is clear is that these instruments are evolving and they're changing and they will fit more and more use cases and lifestyles. So we're not prioritizing on folks who said, hey, they know the most and they, uh, they are the most rigid, they have the most experience. We're really looking for folks who are super open to innovating and have aligned value with side, which prioritize the needs of top agents. And that's really how we landed at Revive. Yeah, talk to us about, Michael, what about you? How did you make a decision to, to partner well, with, with Ben and team? Yeah, well, thank, thanks, uh, Ben. Um, you know, um, as, as Ben kind of mentioned, you know, uh, Side had reached out to us and they went through their vetting process, um, as, as did we, by the way. And I think the thing that stood out to me the most, um, and especially being someone in a position where I actually talk to a lot of brokerages all across the country, small, medium, and national. And a lot of times when I'm talking to CEOs or leaderships, their number one goal is how do we monetize this for the brokerage, right? And one of the things that really stood out to me 
with the leadership of side. And I remember asking this question very early on. I think Ben was there and Ed answered. Um, and I said, hey, what, what is your main goals? And, and they were like, well, what are you talking about? And I said, I mean, are you, are you trying to monetize this? And, and Ed literally said, that would be very short-sighted. And I was like, okay, this, this, is, this is different. And, and the, the leadership here is, um, I could tell that they were really trying to add value to their partners and their agents to give them a tool that truly was going to make them more successful. And I knew that, that this is the way that this tool should be used. It is a powerful tool and, um, and that's the way it should be used. So that was number one. But shortly after, as we started our pilot and I started working with um, agents and our company started working with the pilot program, I think we've had experiences with, with over probably 20 agents and, you know, like Lin Lin, George, uh, Mint Real Estate, um, and many, many others. All of these agent partners um, of sides, they were all entrepreneurs. They were all cutting edge. They were all looking for solutions. Um, they were all open-minded and wanted this to work. And so it was clear to me that Side Inc. Um, partners are not the typical brokerage that is made up of a 20 80 split, right? We were taught, or a 90-10 split as I like to call today. This was the 10%. This was the cream of the crop. And of course, Revive, you know, wants to work with the cream of the crop. So we're very excited uh, about that. We're excited about, you know, building out this um, with with you guys uh, about all that. So, yeah. Cool. Could you, so if you guys, uh, Ben and Mike, Michael, if you could talk about the program, uh, the concierge program, uh, just give an overview. And I'd love to hear both George and Lin Lin have been kind of the first mm -hmm. in the beta program. Um, and I'd love to hear about their experiences. But if you guys could first give a little bit of an overview of how it works. May I back something up that Michael said there about side partners? Yeah, yeah. Uh, statistically speaking, a side partner averages 27 million in sales production on an annual basis. The next closest brokerage is uh, Home Sotheby's International, which produces about 10 million. So almost three times uh, the um, production of the average side partner agent. Um, we were an independent brokerage for 18 years, have high level relationships with the CEOs of all the franchises locally who we like and respect, but for some reason held out until the side partnership came about and we aligned perfectly with them. And now they've given us all the backing and support that we've needed to take things to the next level and without any of the franchise limitation. Uh, Michael and I actually have a pre-existing relationship from about a decade ago when he was one of the most prominent developers locally here. And I would try to bring him off market business for him to build and me to resell. Um, but side brought us back together. And at this point, the home concierge tool, I believe in my 18 year career, I, in fact, I know is the most powerful tool I've had to bring to my community. That's so awesome. Tell, tell us about your experience with that, George. Like how, how has it been? You you have done a couple deals now with Revive in the beta program. Yeah, should we allow them to give an overview and then I'll, I'll share some yeah. specifics? Yeah, that'd be great. Go ahead, Ben. Um, so quickly, I would just want to highlight, you know, one of the reasons why Revive stood out uh, from the process standpoint. Uh, one of the things that is always hard to do for the agent is to tell an owner that um, their homes are ugly or the inside is terrible. <laughs> um, and <laughs> without, without losing the customer, right? Um, so um, walking through multiple and various processes, we noticed that, hey, Revive provides the, the are, is one of the only company that provides uh, active guidance backed by data for realtors to take to their clients to tell them, hey, why renovation is useful and, and will be the best tool that um, will be the best tool for you to build wealth on top of your uh, listing as well. And with that, Michael and Linlin, I'll let you guys take away. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that um, at the core of, of the home concierge program is, you know, as, as a professional, uh, whatever you want to call it, flipper, uh, real estate investor, the things that made me successful were really three things. One was access to professional real estate expertise. Uh, two, uh, access to a network of service providers and contractors that were going to deliver on time and on budget. And three, money. And so, you know, Revive was really born out of the idea of trying to transfer that to the end consumer. And working with um, 
real estate professionals like you know like yourselves, I think our process and approach is um, really to be a team. To you know, a lot of times we find ourselves uh, you know the, the process. Maybe I talk about the process real quick. The process is once you've uh, submitted a listing is we have a pro to pro where we get on the phone with you and we get on the same page with with a plan a plan that uh, you know lays out a budget a scope and a plan that accomplishes your clients uh, goals and and oftentimes it's to sell fast and to net more dollars in their pocket and then that plan is really best presented by both of us and to what Ben was saying that's an opportunity for us to be uh, a team member with you but also uh, an opportunity for us to kind of tell the client some of the hard things that may be hard for the agent to kind of sometimes tell that client um, as a professional in the industry that has been um, you know um, partnered with the agent to to uh, to accomplish that so I think there's great success in working as a team uh, in accomplishing that goal um, I'll pause for a second I mean uh, Lynn Lynn yeah, do you have anything It'd be great to hear specifically, um, maybe Lynn, Lynn, let's talk about your experience and then George, I want to hear yours too, because you've done a couple now. Um, what was that like? Obviously, you have a partner in Michael's, Michael and his team. Um, it's very intimidating. This process can be very intimidating for some homeowners, right? How do you navigate them through it? What, what kind of questions are they asking and and what do you use to walk them through do you use spreadsheets like how do you go about it well the first uh, point we our process is we actually get the inspectors there so when uh, we have a pest inspector and a property inspector because we create a punch list using some of the low-hanging fruits on the inspection reports plus our initial walkthrough where we're also writing down things that we think that could get them the highest ROI, more of the quote unquote, putting lipstick on a pig type items. So we combine both of these punch lists and then that's when we have the pro to pro. But during this time, we found that it's very helpful to start talking about Revive so that the clients can get comfortable with the idea that we are gonna be bringing in a partner affiliate to help us bring this wow property to the market and we have a game plan and we've done many many of these you know prior uh you know revive is new of course um but you know we have done these improvements before where we're feeling kind of overwhelmed like you know we we are not project managers we are agents and we our job the highest best use of our time is not <laughs> working with the contractors and so this really does provide a humongous uh benefit for us to time save on our part so that we can increase our bandwidth to take more listings but making the sellers feel comfortable that we understand the process and I think it really is helpful that with a pro to pro and then after we all do a zoom with the clients where we're kind of like there you know seeing them do the presentation and then being able to step out and kind of let them take over and only jump in when you know the clients feel like they need our opinion on on something and I know we're doing that right now with uh, one of our properties and I can tell Michael is very passionate about what he does because I know personally know that he's under the weather and I saw his email very very late last night regarding a termite inspection report for one of our <laughs> listings and what we should be doing with that and he just wanted me to weigh in so I could That's so awesome. thank you very much that is very, very you, well appreciated and, yeah. It must be so nice too to have that to have that relief that you have a true um, advisory partner with you, um, so you can rely on them. I mean, you you help kind of pre-sell, like, hey, I'm bringing a renovation expert in, but you have that trust and uh, to know that they're they're alongside presenting. And um, George, do you want to talk about your experience working with? I mean, you've known Michael for a long time, but. Um, but now coming back again on, on um, advising your clients, how has that worked? Yeah, Michael and I are working extremely closely together, as am I with some of the rest of his team members. Michael's the only guy in town I know who's out working myself. And uh, my goal is to keep as much of his attention as I can possibly get. And, and we're just adding so much value. 
to to my clients and and to the community. Uh, and I, I I believe and I'm sharing with them that this is this is how I'm serving my community through this program, helping people to capture the hidden value in their homes. I mean, some of these people were capturing uh, an annual salary from their that's hidden in their home for them. Uh, so really an amazing product. And I think the process, although it's in the beta stages, uh, you know, and has the um, human condition associated with it, you know, what we're providing here is a life we're life situation consultants and no two sellers are the same right so i love how we kind of have a general overview discussion at first um get them comfortable with the product and i can tell you when a when a seller understands this product they're overjoyed to be a part of it and there's more value than just the financial backing that we're providing here it's also the the project management which you know one of the key words that keeps coming up here is time. Uh, people are busy, you know, um, and, and even if they had a blank check, I think it would be negligent to, to give a homeowner a blank check. They're going to put the money where they want it and they may actually uh, de depreciate the property. It's very possible. So we're putting together a team of experts with thousands of properties of experience, right? Track records. And, and something I love about this partnership as well is that we are actually tracking results um, and, and seeing that we're in fact surpassing projections that are being provided. So a team of experts collaborating for the seller's uh, benefit. The seller still has the final say, um, but the recommendations that are being made are like pinpoint accurate with laser focus on their property specifically, their situation. And the reason that I've named my service Times Concierge is because it truly is a concierge program. I mean, it's a luxury service, it's convenience, all packaged into one while making them a ton of money uh, without without the headache. I mean, even to the point of providing paying for their Airbnb to stay in while we're painting the house. I mean, it's unbelievable. Awesome. So this is, I mean, this is a real competitive advantage, and you guys are actively using it to show others your your premium level. It sounds like a premium level of service that you're able to bring. Um, so, so walk us through specifically the process too, guys. Like, so uh, you've got the pre-selling. You're going through recommendations. You get approvals. Uh, is that how many bids? Like, talk us through that, Michael. Yeah. So sure, Chris. Yeah. And you know, uh, just going to echo something that I know Lynn Lynn was nodding her head, and Chris. I think the bottom line is homeowners don't know what renovations to do to maximize value. And oftentimes, honestly, realtors also aren't the experts necessarily in what's like leading trends and renovations. So yeah. I think it helps. it's not just providing the money to do the renovations, but it's doing the right kind of renovations and not over renovating, right, mm -hmm. um, is key mm -hmm. to this program. As far as the process, um, again, it's you know approaching this as a team, doing the pro to pro, getting on the same page, presenting to the homeowner and then having uh, um, you know a, an approval process so the the approval process is pretty simple revive just wants to make sure that there's enough equity in a home for us to get paid back through escrow at the end so we ask the realtors to do a preliminary title report we ask the homeowners to give us a mortgage statement and that's pretty much it once we kind of verify those numbers they're approved and then our bidding process is we have service providers that we have close relationships with that we bid this work out with but we also bid it out with other service providers to make sure that there's always uh, you know the best pricing is being attained by a client and i think that's a key part of this is homeowners are savvy they want value even though we're giving them you know the the consulting we're giving them the service provider network we're giving them the money to do all this at the end of the day it has to it is a premium product but it still needs to be at a reasonable price, right? And so um, we, we go through that bidding process. We select a vendor. The homeowner gets presented with that uh, bid. If they sign off on it, then the work um, starts. And that's pretty much the process. Got it. And is it pretty smooth talking clients through it? George and Lynn Lynn, do you, do you find there are complexities you have to explain a little more? Or well, do you yeah, think it's pretty, I mean, you always, pretty smooth? 
Uh, well, occasionally you will get the sellers who think they know what the market wants or they want to interject like their own opinion on what should be done to their house, even though they haven't sold a house before. And um, it's kind of like just, you know, talking them through uh, if they were a buyer. And also, especially during this pandemic time, you know, majority of people are shopping online first before they come and see your house. And so if you're not really that standout wow property online, they're not going to come and see your house. And if they don't come and see your house, guess what? They most likely won't put in an offer, which means that you are losing part of that buyer audience by not being that wow property online. And so it's explaining, educate, a lot of educating them through the process, showing them photos. You know, I've even had, um, before I even came here, when I was at Redfin, I had a cost comparison with where houses landed at that had white kitchen cabinets versus no white kitchen cabinets or recess lighting versus no recess lighting I put it in this like you know okay this is what this home sold for this is what and then I'll show them and then they'll be like you're right you know we'll we'll, we'll trust your judgment and then but it is a lot of educating <laughs> but you can do it <laughs> yeah yeah, George, what about you? Are you dealing with a lot of the numbers, having to show numbers and things like that? Or are they getting it? Speaking to your last question, yeah, let me quote something, a text I received late last night uh, after we opened escrow with a 4X return on the renovation that we provided. Thanks for everything. We are blown away. We know we ask a million questions. Both of <laughs> us are A and methodical thinkers. Type A and methodical thinkers. Our brains take a lot of detail to process everything. Sorry if it comes across like we are questioning you. It's not it at all. We have trusted y'all this entire time and are blown away by everything you were doing. So it, it really uh, depends on the seller. There's a lot of questions, but I find that the more questions that are asked, the more comfortable they become with the product and the process because we have such great answers. And then a really powerful tool that we've been provided with is white paper on each one of these products. So there are multiple products that are really exclusive to this brand um, that, that add additional value. I don't know if we want to jump and touch on any of those, but really powerful. Yeah, one of great. one of yeah, one of which is my favorite is the no loss guarantee. It just shows how confident we are in this product that we provide, that we do provide an option of a no loss guarantee. Basically, if we don't get them at least the uh, amount of money that was invested in their property plus profit on top of that, they don't owe the money back. And they're just blown away with that. That's yeah, awesome. That's, you know, I was going to jump in, Chris, and say, you know, I, I think the success of this is definitely um, a realtor plays a big part in, 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 you know, doing their thing and making their clients feel comfortable. So I think a team approach is always helpful. And, you know, I, I have to say through the process and through, you know, being at Revive, I've also come to realize that, you know, the work that we all do, you know, that you do, that we do, the service that we're providing really does end up making a bigger difference than just renovating a bathroom or a kitchen and getting a higher dollar price. You know, these are retired people. These are people looking to move up. These are people doing things and their life is literally transformed by being able to maximize the value of the biggest investment in their life. So, um, and it has real impact on their life. And I, I hope that everybody that provides that, whether they're doing it on their own, like Lynn Lynn said, she was doing this on her own. A lot of top agents were, but, um, and so, you know, what it feels like to help a client, you know, make an extra $50,000 that was trapped inside their home, um, or a hundred or 200,000. So I'm really proud of that. Um, yeah, that we're able I mean, to yeah. Yeah. you guys are really helping create real wealth out there. Mm -hmm. Um, and Can I uh, it's amazing. Quick? Yeah, please, Ben. Uh, yeah, so I get this question all the time. Like my Slack is flooded with these questions. Hey, we're trying to recruit a Compass agent, and you know they they can't leave Compass Concierge. Like, how does Revive uh, compare, right? And and all the things that you guys said are literally the points that I I repeat exactly. Um, you have to ma you as a compass agent have to manage the project yourself right and you have to the data that revive provides you on all the roi that the renovation will generate hey guess what compass concierge does not provide that nor will they want to provide that because it opens up 
to too much liability. So the agent themselves have to are left to fend to produce those kind of numbers. But in this case, Revive will give you hard concrete number based on hundreds of cases to prove that, hey, yes, mm -hmm. you should fix that kitchen. And lastly, Compass Concierge will not give you that guarantee, <laughs> right? So yeah. somehow if you did your renovation incorrectly or something goes wrong, like you as an agent are, well, there's, there's going to be a lot of legal ramification and reputational ramifications and Revive it's solves all of that for you. Ben, you yeah, raise a really good point. It's a very, it's a very, this, I want to talk a little bit about that because I think that's very important that it's a data driven approach that this team brings because, um, and it goes to what Lynn Lynn is saying, like, you don't want to have to say, well, that's not going to work like you or what you're suggesting is not going to work. You, it's not an opinion. It is data. Right. And so, um, Michael, maybe talk a little bit about that. Like you guys have kind of, uh, the formula, right? That's data driven. Yeah. Certain trends are working. Yeah, our formula is a hundred percent driven by and grounded in understanding the as is value of a home and the potential value of a home. And then when you understand that, then you at least have you know that delta. You know, if your house you know is worth a million dollars as is, but one two if it was made uh, turnkey, well then you know you have a two hundred thousand dollar upside okay, what do we need to do to get there? It doesn't make sense to spend $200,000 to get $200,000. So everything we do is grounded in that. And yes, we do back that up with a zero loss guarantee. That's actually one of our revenue sources. Um, but, but also, um, I wanted to say, you know, this whole thing about Compass, I think that, uh, you know, giving a homeowner a credit card and telling them do what you think is best is not the value that Revive brings, right? It's not, you know, the money is definitely the cherry on the top, but that isn't really, I think, the value that we bring. It's the, the consulting and making sure that there is that plan that is grounded in ROI. And then the, the famous like, well, okay, we want to approve all the things. It's like, well, we'll give you a material palette board, but we drive the design process because we know what buyers want, you know? And so um, it's, it's so much different. I, I don't even think you can compare the two products. And I definitely think this is um, a lot more powerful. And it definitely, the results are in, in the, you know, the proof's in the pudding. Um, I think we, ha we have great results. Um, we've never, ever uh, had a, um, a, a project where, you know, we invested X and, and sold the property for minus X, you know, so really proud of that. George, yeah, George several you things I love. Sorry, several things I love had about this product is is one, I was so impressed when we made a recommendation to a client where clearly the home could have sustained an investment of uh, at least six figures, right? A hundred thousand dollars plus that we could have spent on this property, but the market could not have sustained that investment. So our recommendation was ten thousand dollars. And they were really impressed with that, that we're just not trying to throw money at this blindly and mindlessly. Um, that was the most calculated approach that was going to get them the highest return on investment. So I love that strategy. I love numbers and we find the sweet spot for each person. Also, what I love is that th there's just no limitation to the, this product. These guys are thinkers. We partner together in thinking and we're, we're working on projects between $10,000 up to a million dollars in recommended renovations. Um, and, and that's quite the spread, both of them offering a 4X to the clientele. So it's, it's area sensitive, it's product sensitive, it's, you know, buyer driven. Um, but also, you know, the uh, uniqueness of the products that are being offered. So not just the traditional concierge, right, which, which uh, I love when people ask how uh, our partners make their money on that. It's a wonderful explanation. It makes a lot of sense and it's not coming out of the seller's pocket. Um, secondly, standing by that and saying, we'll give you the no loss guarantee, which is a slightly different structure where we prom we, we guarantee you're going to profit, but then our partners share a little bit in the upside, right? 25%. But on top of that, there's two other products that completely separate us from the field, which is um, the trade up program, which one of my clients is very happy about taking advantage of right now. And I have several waiting in line to get qualified for this program where we will actually turn a contingent seller a contingent buyer, I'm sorry, who would need to sell their house first in order to buy a property, we will turn a contingent buyer who's the weakest buyer in the market into an all cash buyer. 
uh, overnight and give them a blank check to go shopping. Um, that is some seriously high level stuff um, that we're engaged with. And statistically speaking, they're going to save about 3% on on the um, acquisition of their property and in a multiple offer situation setting which is common practice these days their offer is eight times more likely to get accepted and if i'm their agent it's about 70 times more likely it will get accepted Wow, I love that story, George. The ten thousand dollar story, especially like you, you kept him from spending more, but he made a ton. Um, so you, you mentioned George, the white papers. Is do you uh, and and for those who are on, you can go into the handout section of the um, meeting experience and get those. But do you introduce those? Like, how do you pre-sell the renovation expert um, advisor that's about to come in from Michael's team? May, you know, maybe you can share, like, how did, did you use the white papers? Lynn, Lynn, did you use the, those white papers, or how did you tee them mm -hmm. up? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sending those to clients. When we first start a discussion about bringing Revive in, they'll, they'll be like, okay, can I get some more information? So I'll send it. Um, however, I think the most important meeting is the one where we do the Zoom meeting when we get the punch list together, all the photos, and then we sit down with John and with the clients and us. And so we are all kind of like talking and asking questions and, yeah, getting those out of the way. Cool. George, how do you, how do you, how do you introduce the Revive team in? Yeah, so – love leaving stuff behind with a seller right so i package them beautifully on kind of like a listing presentation white white book um and then also we have kind of an interactive online version of the white paper with with uh testimonial videos they can click on etc so kind of after we meet then we provide them with the written documentation i think they're just blown away and it's just uh kind of backing us up and, and support and they can go through it at their own time and get all of the details and then if they come up with more questions can can follow up with us uh, but i love setting up that initial call um, with everybody and getting everybody on the same page um, and you always find new information through that cool. process. Yeah, I, I think the key to success there, Chris, is um, the white papers are available. I, I think George and a lot of agents have co-branded those. We've co-branded it for them where it's Revive and their, their brand and they present that to their clients um, uh, whenever uh, for, for more information. Cool. So we have uh, a bunch of people who are super interested in the chat. I just want to tell you, John Woodruff is, is doing his first project and he's talking awesome stuff. Um, Brian Hill is like uh, asking, how do I get a revive shirt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get that out to you, Brian. Definitely. Okay, awesome. Michael's um, closet is full of books. That's all I wear, you know. Makes my decision is really easy. Can I take a, Can I take just one minute on one thing yeah. you didn't mention? And the add value I feel is that we are in a labor crisis in the Bay Area. How many people you know have had nightmare projects with contractors? But when you have somebody who is well connected with contractors that vetted them out, that is a huge add value. Yeah. 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 I know we don't have a lot of time to talk about this, but we have like an extensive vetting process with our contractors where I actually interview every, you know, contractor. And then, um, you know, we ask them to bid on multiple jobs. Then we select them to do three jobs. And only then do they actually become an official partner that we like shoe in um, all the time. Um, so I know we don't have, I see the clock counting down. So. Yeah, the clock's ticking, but I just want to let you guys know, I mean, the crew here today who are the audience joining, they're super, I could tell through all the chat and questions, they're, they're really um, pumped up. Um, this crew will be at the Cocktail Mastermind after, so if you want to uh, network and have more questions, please talk with them. But real quick, within two minutes, George, what's your key takeaway? One key takeaway. Yeah, I feel like a superhero. I feel like a superhero going out here. You know, I'm a man of the people. I'm a servant leader locally here. I love the Lord and I love people. So I'm taking this product out and I'm just on fire going out here and helping people because somebody needs this. Somebody needs to find it and I'm going to get it to them. So you guys, you should be fired up in that chat and bringing this out to your community. 
I love it, George. You are a hero. Uh, Michael, key takeaway for you. Um, key takeaway for me is realtor roles are more important than ever. I think there are more solutions than ever. Um, I think Revive offers an amazing um, suite of solutions. I encourage you to get educated by going to our website and attending a webinar about any of the programs that we offer. So knowledge is power. So get educated and figure out a way to incorporate that into your business or business plan or presentation that highlights the value that you could bring in addition to the other things that I'm sure you're doing. Uh, that way it is in, in writing and can be uh, articulated to your client so you could at the end of the day make more money. Awesome. More money, more money. Well, that's what we're about. Lynn Lynn, how about you? Key takeaway. We are making a huge difference in seller's life, and it's not just the financials. They have a pride of ownership, and when you bring something spectacular to the market, they are so proud to show that video to all their family and friends, and it gives them, you know, great pride where they, you know, and also it get, uh, locks, you know, the, the maximum amount of potential from their home for their retirement. So you are making a huge difference. So thank you. We're very excited about this partnership. Awesome. Ben, key takeaway, 20 seconds. Yeah. Uh, from the product team aside, uh, we hear you. Uh, we have a lot more to come. And, you know, uh, Revive is just the beginning. The relationship will deepen and a lot more relationship will come. Um, and we hear all of your feedback. So uh, stay Love tuned. It. And 2021 is going to be amazing. Thanks, guys. You are all my heroes. So let's you. go. Let's get it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> I hope I to see you in the cocktail. Yeah. Ask no <laughs> questions. There it is. <laughs>